which is related to the measurement of scale. The in my previous lecture we have discussed about the definition of statistics, limitation and types of statistics. Uh, in today's lecture our learning outcomes are we know about the definition of variable, categorical variable, nominal scale, ordinal scale, ratio scale and interval scale. So dear students, uh, as you know that uh, when we collect the data from the population they usually have different nature. Sometimes we deal with the numerical data and sometimes we deal with the non-numerical data, mean qualitative and quantitative. Qualitative variable stands for non-numerical data and quantitative data mean numerical data. So usually uh, we categorize the scale of measurement in two broad categories. Uh, the first one is qualitative, the second one is quantitative. So by definition, uh, any data you use can take a variety of values or belong to a various categories either numerical or non-numerical. The thing being described by the data is therefore known as variable. So dear students, variable is a quantity which change time to time, place to place. So the value or descriptions you use to measure or category these things or measurement. These are these are of different types, each with its own appropriate scale of measurement, which has to be considered when deciding uh, on a suitable method of graphical display and numerical analysis. So, dear students, this totally depends on you which kind of data you have to be collected from population and you should be observed your model, your analysis techniques and according to the your analysis data will be required. If you deal with the qualitative, it means you deal with the qualitative data and if you deal with the some numerical facts and figures so then you need to be uh, quantitative data. So what is variable? Variable something whose values can be varied. Mean anything. This is not to be specif specific for a thing. It can be anything like temperature. Temperature can be changed only to only and production of wheat, GDP of any country can be measured annually basis. So a car should be red, blue, green, etc. This is a quality mean which is very which is very color to color. Mean this is the qualitative this is not quantitative, this is qualitative phenomena by which we observe the different colors of car. So somebody like red car, somebody like blue car, somebody like green car. It should be classified as small, medium or large, this is also a qualitative characteristics. It year of manufacturing could be 1991, 1995 and 1999 
end to 2015 or 16. So this is also uh, a quantitative mm, phenomena of a characteristics. So it would be a particular length. I mean, this is also a quantitative characteristics. These values all describe the car but are measured on different scales. Dear students, the above two characteristics show the qualitative characteristics and the last two show the quantitative characteristics. So now what is the categorical data? And this is generally non-numerical data which is placed into exhaustive categories and then counting rather than measure. Uh, dear students, as I told you, when you deal with the qualitative characteristics of data, then your preferable uh, techniques to measure the characteristics of qualitative data is counted. Mean you deal with the frequency, percentage, and two cross two contingency tables or two cross n contingency tables because for the qualitative data we deal with the counting techniques rather than measure measure techniques. People are often categorized by gender or occupation. Car can be categorized by make or color. Mean when you deal with the population so according to the you deal with the population according to the uh, gender either it's a male or female or according to the occupation either he is a lecturer he is a professor or he is an engineer when you are buying the car then you categorize according to the manufacturing company like is a Suzuki car or a Toyota or a Honda car and also you categorize according to the color uh, either the car is red the car is black the uh, car is white <coughs> sorry now, now uh, we discussed with the measurement of scale so dear students uh, as I told you we categorize the collected data into two major categories the first one is the uh, qualitative and the second one is the quantitative so these two categories can be further divided into four broad parts. Uh, the nominal scale or nominal data, this is related to the qualitative measurement of scale. So nominal data mean, uh, this is the measurement of scale where the natural order does not exist. Uh, for example, we cannot be we arrange the different colors. Uh, we, we only describe the information. For example, the scale of measurement for a variable is a nominal if data describing de describing it or simple label or name which cannot be ordered. This is the lowest level of measurement, even if it is coded numerically or taking or takes the form of number. These numbers are still only labeled. For example, car registration number. The car registration number has no numerical importance, but this is just for the identification sign only serve to identify cars number of athletes that are only nominal and make no value of statement means you 
dear students you usually see your players in ground so they have different number on their back on t-shirts so these number which have assigned on the t-shirt they have no importance but these numbers just show the use for the identification sign otherwise they have no numerically importance so all nominal data are placed in a limited number of exacto categories and any analysis is carried out on the frequency within these categories no other arithmetic is meaningful mean that we just only categorize them that for example uh, when we visit in a car park uh, so we count we count the different model of car different number of cars according to the color according to the model but we cannot use some arithmetic Mm, arithmetic mm, techniques like central tendency or measure um, measurement of dispersion, movements, units and cost assets etc. The second one is ordinal data. The ordinal data mean they have some uh, specified order in simply they have some natural order of arrangement. Uh, if the exact categories into which the set of data is divided can be placed in a meaningful order without any measurement being taken on each case, then it is then it is class is ordinal data it is one level up from the nominal meaning the nominal data nominal scale is the lowest techniques of measurement we also there know that the number of one categories are more or less than the number of another but we do not know by how much for example the car can be ordered as small medium large without the aid of tape measure degree classific classification are only order it leads result depend on their order of finishing in a race not by how much separate their time so we, we categorize the position of at least me the first position the second position the third position we cannot we doesn't we didn't um, uh, counting their time interval a uh, time interval that how much time he spent on the rest but we count just the their finishing time of the rest uh, the most important categories so usually dear students we deal with the questionnaire are often used to collect the opinion using the categories strongly agree agree no opinion disagree or strongly disagree the responses may be coded as one two three and four uh, dear students uh, one represent strongly agree, two represent agree, three represent no opinion, and four represent disagree, or five represent strongly disagree. For the computer, but the difference between these numbers are not claimed to be equal. So, dear students, so dear student, um, in ordinal data, there is some specified uh, order according to the 
their number uh, and simple way we say that uh, a data which have some natural order according to their characteristics according to their number so is known as not ordinal data so the last the already we have discussed the nominal and uh, ordinal these two categories belong to uh, qualitative data and these two interval and ratio scale uh, related to the uh, quantitative aspects so in both these scales any number are defined by standard unit of measurement so equal difference between number generally mean equal distance between measurement if there is also a meaningful zero then the fact that one number is twice as big as another mean that the measurement are also in that ratio these data are known as ratio data if on the other hand the zero is not meaningful the data are interval only so dear student um, the difference between the interval and ratio scale uh, where the where zero is meaningful mean that we deal with the ratio data and where the zero is not meaningful then it mean that we deal with the interval data so now the question is how we identify that zero is meaningful or not so for understanding here the zero is meaningful or not let me explain some explanation there are very few example of german interval scale temperature in degree centigrade provide one example with the zero on this scale being arbitrary me in case of temperature there is no meaningful zero mean there is no importance of zero the difference between 30 centigrade and 50 centigrade is the same as the difference between 40 centigrade and 60 centigrade but we cannot claim that 60 centigrade is twice as hot as 30 centigrade a uh, dear student if we observe in the above statement the difference between 30 centigrade and 50 centigrade the difference between these two values is 20 and also if we observe the difference between 40 centigrade and 60 centigrade is also 20 but the difference is 20 in both cases but the importance of the difference uh, in the both sequence is different meaning we cannot say that the 60 centigrade is twice as hot as 30 mean if we boil the water so the boiling point is 100 centigrade mm, but if we check the water uh, during when its temperature is 30 centigrade then it and again you check the temperature when the it reached to the cent 60 centigrade so it mean that there will be a lot of heat will be uh, counted so mean that the we cannot say that uh, 60 is a twice of 30 uh, similarly we can in the case of blood pressure we cannot 
uh, saying that uh, the suppose that uh, 120 by 80 is normal bit so sometime if we send that uh, 110 divided by 80 and 120 divided by 80 by 80 uh, or 130 by 90 the difference between these three uh, different measures of measurement of BP are equal 10 10 10 but the meaning of 10 uh, completely changed uh, in one interval into the another interval similarly uh, the difference between 40 and 60 is 20 and similarly the difference between 30 and 50 is also 20 but the meaning of 20 uh, in the both interval are different so uh, in ratio data we must have a meaningful zero as a lowest possible value so for example the time taken by at least to complete a race would be measured on this scale. Suppose Bill earned 20,000 pound, Bill earned 15,000 pound and Bob earned 10,000 pound. The interval of 5,000 pound between Bill and Bill and also between Bill and uh, Bob generally it represent equal amounts of money also the ratio of bob earning to bill earning are generally is in the same ratio one ratio two is the number which represent them since the value of zero pound represent no money this data set is there for a ratio as well as interval so and dear student, when the difference between one interval and the difference between the another interval, the value of interval does not change. Mean the the five thousand pound uh, difference is much like as uh, between fifteen and ten and fifteen and twenty mean the meaning of 5000 cannot be changed so in simple words uh, when the difference of one interval into another interval might be different but the meaning of difference value will not be changed is called a ratio scale when the difference between the one interval and the another interval the difference value meaning will be changed so then there will be used a ratio scale so there will be some uh, dissonant techniques uh, for the measuring the nominal and ordinal scale and ratio and interval scale the distance between these types of theoretical rather than practical is the same numerical and graphical method are appropriate for both money is always at least interval data so uh, a different statistical tool like SPSS they can't be differentiated between the interval and ratio scale they usually use a common word scale for both nominal uh, for interval and uh, for ratio scale uh, that is destination the destination between these types is theoretical rather than practical is the same numerical and graphical method are appropriate for both many is always at this interval data we have therefore identified three measurement scale nominal ordinal and interval measuring nominal ordinal and interval data data may be analyzed using 
method of recreate to lowest level for example interval data might be treated as ordinal but useful information is lost if we know that bill earn is 20000 and uh, uh, bill earn 15000 pound we draw throwing information away but by only recording that bill earn more than bill so data cannot be analyzed using method which are only appropriate for higher higher level data is the result will be either invalid or meaningless. Uh, dear students, you should be more careful when you deal with the different scale of data. Suppose if you deal with the quantitative data, uh, sorry qualitative data and then you use the some statistical tools like average so then your result will be invalid or meaningless for example if we deal with the nominal scale for example it makes no sense uh, for example it makes no sense to quote the sex uh, of students as male equal to 1 and female equal to 2 then the reported mean value is 1.5 mean 1 plus 2 equal to 3 and 3 divided by 2 is equal to 1.5 so it is however quite appropriate to report that 70% of students are female and 30% of students are male so mean um, as we discussed before for nominal scale and for the qualitative data you use the counting techniques rather than the arithmetic uh, arithmetic techniques so if we find the mean average of male and female the resulting value is 1.5 so 1.5 is no meaning uh, in the result is invalid is completely meaningless um, uh, if we use the counting techniques so it's uh, better it's very better that better to say that uh, the female um, involvement in education is more higher than the male students so in simple words 70 percent of female students are attending school and only 30 percent of male attending the school thank you